<laughs> All right, I'm back. All praises to the Most High, the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, bless your people, your lovely Masha people. We all are waiting for your son's return. We want to be reconciled back to you. Because you are our creator, you are our Heavenly Father. Through your only begotten son. Who is you. In this form of love. He came down and showed us an example and we want to walk in that example. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit that enables us to do these miracles. To live different. To raise our vibration. To live in the Spirit, not in the flesh. Amen. So what, how, did, how did a lot of these channels get... A lot of viewers. How do they get a lot of subscribers, do you think? They cater to the fleshly side of people they cater to something that that floats your boat turns you on yeah I've always hated being a black man I can't wait till the kingdom these black Hebrew Israelites they got it right they how about Hashem how is is gonna fuck these white crackers up Harpazzo, Harpazzo, all we have to do is wait another week. Harpazzo's here. The numbers are adding up. We're all going to fly up to the clouds and kumbaya with the Lord. And, and then we're going to come down and don't be left here during tribulation. Don't be left here. That's going to be one heck of a bad time. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking tribulation right, right now, man. Right now. Right now. doesn't have to be bombs exploding and babies dying and lack of food and no water. Tribulation, man, is in your heart. It's when you look around and go, something just ain't fucking right here. And that what is right, there's not enough of it, right? So, Isaiah 2, 4. The mountain of the Lord. So, when it talks about the mountain of the Lord, what are we talking about? Mount Zion. Zion is rising. Babylon bridges are burning. Babylon represents the carnal. Babylon bridges burning down. Babylon bridges burning down. The fire isn't going to affect the holy mountain. The fire is going to burn Babylon. The flesh. The flesh. So how do we know there's not going to be slaves? Because there's not going to be any flesh to enslave. You can't enslave a spirit. That's the beauty of being in a spirit. You're free. So everything they do to slowly take our food away by pricing it out of our range and creating stress in our lives by using the monetary system, they're enslaving us. They're making us do more to get less. And they, they love it. They love to watch us. The only slavery is ever going to take place is in the carnal. That's where slavery takes place because the whole theme is slavery you're in a you're you're in chains of darkness already how could it get any worse that's why peter and jude and a lot of the saints realize paul i'm a slave i'm in these chains of darkness i'm in this body there's no escape you can't get out and then not only that you're in this snow globe here 
No one's going anywhere. No one's going. No one's going to the moon. No one's going to Mars. No one's going outside. This this place is impenetrable. You can't go down and get out of here. You can't go up and get out of here. You can't go sideways. I don't know. You might be able to go sideways and get out of here. Maybe break through the ice wall that's around the whole flat plain. They have us so confused about where we live. It's like you could just fly off into space like a that's that's about as makes about as much sense as Harpazzo. Not going anywhere until the Lord says so. Um the mountain of the Lord, the word of the of Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. I'm going to let that go for now. And it came to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Okay, what do we got? We got Zion. We have the heavenlies. Mount Zion is outside of this shithole. So when it says we're going to go to the mountains, we're going to go above this Fucking crapper, crapper shoot. We got to get out of here, but it's going to be on his time, not our time. Oh, if we watch Tony Baloney, man, bro, you got, you think you have, he don't love you that much, Tony. You're going to have to prove some shit. You don't just get to go, well, I don't sin and I repented and I repent every day and blah, 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 blah. You're, you're an idiot, Tony. It's not about repenting from your fleshly sin. It's about repenting your stupid doctrine, bro. Let the Lord handle it. Brothers, sisters, lovely people, masha people of the Most High, I and I, Rastafari, conquering Lion of Judah. We don't, we don't claim anything. We just claim that the Lord's going to save us. Thank God. It's time. It's time. Oh, nope. Next week. Nope. No. Keep that time shit off your mind, people. The only time you have is the time that you are right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. It's all present. There's no past. There's no future. There's just right now. And right now is never going to end. You're always going to be conscious of something. That's what the whole problem here is. The Lord is not going to just abandon your consciousness. So try and figure out which part of your consciousness is worth saving. What part do you think he wants to save? The part that wants to put other people in, in stocks and make them slaves? I don't think so. I don't think you can enslave a spirit. You can't, it's, it's, sa it's sacrilege. It's not kosher. It's almost, it's impossible in my mind. How do you enslave a spirit? In the spirit world, there's no, the Lord will put you maybe in a, in an area that you, <laughs> you're not happy with, but that's because you were trying to enslave someone else. Those who live by the sword will die by the sword. Those who go into captivity that push people into captivity will go into captivity. You don't want to create hell for your brother because you're creating your own hell. Let's continue. Isaiah 2. Three. And many people shall go and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, the house of God of Jacob. So when it said concerning Judah and Jerusalem, that means southern kingdom. That means this love affair between Jacob and Rachel that gave birth to Joseph and Benjamin. When it says Jacob, when it doesn't say Israel, when it says Jacob like that, that's talking quite succinctly about 
the love that he had for Rachel. That's that's not all of Israel. That's not all his children. That's when it says Jacob right there. That means the children of Joseph, Manasseh, Ephraim, and the children of Benjamin, Bella, Gera, Kish, Saul, Jonathan. And then among those are the, the Judites because Judah is Jerusalem. Southern Kingdom is Jerusalem. That's that's that. So when, so when we get down here and it says, And many people shall go and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob. That's particularly speaking about this these loving people of um, Joseph and Benjamin because those were the two children of Rachel and Jacob. So that's why it says Jacob. Anyway, and he will teach us his ways. What's his ways? Love, sacrifice, um, obedience. He was obedient to Laban for 14 years before he finally got his beautiful bride, J Rachel. And then he finally got children from her. Joseph, who all the brothers hated. And then Benjamin. Mommy died. Then mommy died. So that's where we get this idea of we don't die. Mo Mommy's not dead. Mommy came back as Rachel. Rachel and Rachel came back as Mary and gave birth to Jesus. That's why Benjamin and Jesus were born in the same place. Bethlehem, Ephrata. And he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. What's that mean? See what I was saying? Jerusalem means Benjamin. Judah and Benjamin. The word will come forth out of Benjamin. Benjamin's the prophets, the prophecy. Rachel gave Rachel was in hard travail, like a woman in birth pangs. That's Rachel giving forth prophecy or Benjamin and then dying. Hard hard labor. So when I say I'm in a spiritual upheaval over here, that's because my spirit is so stirred up and I'm not completely doing everything I should be doing. And the Lord's putting a little pressure on me right now to get my shit together. And I'm kind of fighting him a little bit because I've always done that. I've always pushed back. That's what the prophets do. We that's what Jonah did. He didn't want to do it. I don't sometimes I just don't want to do it. But am I going to have am I going to do what he wants me to do? You damn right I am. Might take some hand and haw and he might have to spank me, but I'm going to get this word out every day. Every day. Lovely people. Thank you for being here. I love you. So instead of talking about slaves and Negroes and elite white men, these crackers are going to get it, and slavery. Let's talk reality, people. Let's get back to basics. Harpazzo, come on. Tony. You know, most true Bible scholars laugh at Harpazzo. They know that that word doesn't mean what these people have attached it to. It's not what they say. It's not. It's not what they say. It's more, it's more or less you are raptured when you have the Spirit, Holy Spirit in you. You are, you are now in rapture. I am in rapture. I'm enraptured by this word of God. It's in me. It's, it's, it's a motherfucker, but it's the road's rocky, but it feels good to me. It's the only road I want to be on. I want, I want the hard road. I want, I want that narrow gate. I want to struggle to get in. I'm struggling to get in. That's what Harpazo is. This rapture, knowing that the pain is going to end one day and we're going to, we're going to be in this part. We're going to go up to Zion and we're going to go, 
Shit. That was nothing. I wish I would have I wish I would have been more of them. Pushy son of a bitch, I guess. Um, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. Who's he going to rebuke? He's going to rebuke those people that twisted his doctrine into some nonsensical black power bullshit. He's going to he's going to rebuke those people that came up with these doctrines of devils and and taught them to other people and and enslaved their minds with their lies and their schemes and their plots. These people are going to have to face it. That's why I don't lie to you. I tell you what this shit actually says. Because it, it is shitty for for the world. This book is not is not the beautiful book that everyone thinks it is. This this book is is a trap for a lot of people. It's a trap. The Heavenly Father gave Jesus the word. He let him be the word. Because he, he, the Heavenly Father isn't happy with us. That's why we're in this mess. We didn't, we didn't pay attention at the beginning, and now it's coming to the end. And he's going to get his revenge through Jesus Christ. And people say, oh, he's all love, he's all love. No, he's not. He's the setup man. The word is a setup. In a lot for a lot of people. I mean, it's not designed to hurt to hurt everyone. It's designed to hurt people perfectly. It's designed to hurt you perfectly where you need to be hurt. There's a lot of stuff in here that I'm I must I've got to be wrong on. I can't be right on everything. So there's going to be things that I'm going to get sl slugged right in the jaw. I'm going to get slugged for sure. I might get slugged harder than a lot of you because I'm supposed to know better. And I missed it. I missed it. Boom. Oh, fuck. Right? People are going to be getting slugged up, man. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not, shall not, nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Sounds like there's not going to be any stocks. There's not going to be any chains to bind people. There's not going to be swords. These fucking black Hebrew idiots. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a two-edged sword. We're going to have an actual two-edged sword in the kingdom. Nigga, please. He's going to destroy with the word of his mouth. He's going to destroy you with this book. This book is the two-edged sword. Why is it two-edged? Because whatever you think that parable meant, it's going to cut you on the other side because that's not what it meant. Just because the words make your English voodoo language mind fall into a certain belief system, yeah, that's what that means. It says right there, the land, the land. That must mean here, we're going to be on the land. Come on, sir. Doesn't mean land as you know it. Can you think bigger than that? I mean, every word, every word in this book is a setup. You got to think spiritually, not carnally. That's why I'm trying to teach. When I teach the Bible, that's why I'm trying to teach you. To stop thinking carnally and start thinking spiritually. Um, let's let's finish this, um, and then we'll go to another spot. Um, oh, house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. He's talking about 
the true Israelites. And I don't know if Judah is involved with that. I mean, Judah might be the one of the biggest setups in the Bible. Everyone's all, yeah, but Jesus came from the line of Judah. Yeah, he did, huh? Right? <laughs> Who's going to be fucking people up, rebuking them? Who's going to be in, in charge? Jesus. Therefore, thou hast forsaken thy people, the house of Jacob, because they be replenished from the east, and are soothsayers like the Philistines, and they please themselves in the children of strangers. True. <sighs> But there's two ways to look at that. We please ourselves in the presence of strangers. Paul and the Benjamites, we didn't please ourselves on the backs of the strangers. We didn't make them our slaves. We made them our brothers and sisters. See, that's the difference between a Benjamite and a damn Judite. A Benjamite loves the other nations. I love, I love the Gentiles. I don't know why. It's in my heart. It's in my spirit to love the other nations. It has a lot to do with where Benjamin came from. Benjamin was given enough to see the beauty of the love of the Gentiles. That's that's something that a lot of people don't understand. Why did Paul love the Gentiles so much? It has something to do with the way we were brought up. We were destroyed by our own tribe, Judah. Judah came against us in the Civil War and slaughtered us. Killed all our wives, all our children, most of our men. We, we don't, I don't have nothing against Judah. But they're going to have to pay for that. And we're going to have to pay for what we did. But part of, part of what we know is from Benjamin of Judah is that the Gentiles are going to be our glory. There are, the churches are, are the mystery of our power. And these black Hebrew Israelites don't get that. It's 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 a foregone conclusion. It's done. It's finished. Gentiles are coming in, and Benjamin's going to lead those churches in. I'm leading my me and my tribe are leading the Gentiles in. Period. So don't don't even doubt it one bit. The first will be last, and the last will be first. Who is the last born of the tribes? Benjamin. He's gonna. We're coming in first with the fullness of the Gentiles, and then after that, it, I don't know. I don't. I don't care. Not my. Not my. Not my group. Whoever's behind me, come on in. The Lord will sort you out. Let me see what I got. I'm gonna do one more. So this should be, this should be easy. I'm not, I'm not trying too much. I'm not walking around out there. Yesterday I, I went out on the sand. I, I was filming the dolphins and I zoomed out to see the dolphins. And then when I came back to the truck, I never zoomed out. So it was like, damn, I got some, <laughs> I got some bad, <laughs> I have some bad scars on my face. It was like, <laughs> but anyhow, um, their land also is full of silver and gold. Neither is there any end of their treasures. Their land is also full of horses. Neither is there any end of their chariots. Why would I be worried about what the, the low vibrational biatches are going to be doing? I'm going to have, we're going to have people between us and them to take care of that, those people. They're going to be fine, but they're going to have to live in their little lower vibration status until they can, like it says, learn the ways of Jacob. And so this... This is a world without end. We're always going to be doing something. God created us, created us to rule and multiply. Jah gave I a strong arm. Jah gave I a fertile mind. 
which I gave I a beautiful girl of his own personal design. So when you're designed for something and when you figure out what, what you're designed for, it, it'll, it'll start to come natural to you. The truth, the truth will, you will become the truth. And so this idea of truth in spirit and in truth, you got to worship in spirit and in truth, worship in spirit and in truth. When your spirit starts embracing truth, it, it's like the talents, whatever you're given in truth, it'll, it'll multiply. So when you're ruling in truth, rule and multiply, you're, you're exponentially turning into what God wants you to be. Not, not no slave master. Um, their land is also full of idols, though. Their worship, they worship the work of their own hands, that which their own fingers have made. And the mean man boweth down, and the great man humbleth himself. Therefore, forgive them not. I don't know exactly what that means. That the mean man humbles, the mean man boweth down. People bow down. Each man humbleth himself. Oh, I think that means I get it. He's like, it doesn't matter. Like I was saying, the truth, you are going to become the truth. A mean man is going to bow down. A humble man is going to bow down. They're both going to bow to truth. Kind of had me, I was like, wait, wait, what? What's that mean? The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord shall alone shall be exalted in that day. Like I said, there's only one boss. There's only gonna be one boss. And he's gonna he's gonna put everyone where they need to be. Raise your vibration, rise, Masha people, rise, lovely people. Rastafari. Zion is rising. Babylon bridges are falling down. All right, I'm going to come back. There's, there's got to be some more on. I think I'm going to look at David when he, because these guys bring this shit up all the time and they don't understand it. So I'm going to see if I can get through it in one video. Talks about the um, when David took the other nation and put them in submission. That's their that's their little area to, to say that they're going to they're going to have these white people in in bondage slaves. <laughs> 